All right, today I'd like to talk to you about the use of FM traps or FM filters on an over-the-air TV antenna system. With all the attention that's paid to interference from 5G LTE cell phone signals, FM radio is often overlooked as a potential source of noise or interference for TV antennas. There are two main reasons why FM radio broadcasts can interfere with over-the-air TV signals. The first reason is that the FM radio band literally sits right beside the low VHF part of the TV frequency spectrum. Channels 2 through 6 broadcast from 54 to 88 megahertz, and FM radio is right next door, transmitting from 88 to 108 megahertz. In fact, this is why it's possible to have Franken FM stations, which are actually TV stations that broadcast on RF channel 6 and at the same time broadcast a radio signal on 87.7 FM that can be picked up by most radios. And with no guard band or buffer between those TV and FM radio frequencies, FM broadcast signals can easily bleed into those adjacent TV signals. The other way that FM radio broadcast signals can interfere with local broadcast TV channels is simply by the sheer magnitude of the local FM signals. They're often much more powerful than local TV signals and they can simply overpower weak or distant TV stations. Local FM radio stations can often transmit at much higher power levels than local over-the-air TV stations. For example, here in Thunder Bay where I live, there's a couple of FM stations here that transmit at 95,000 and 100,000 watts each respectively, whereas the local TV stations here broadcast at 1,200 watts and 4,500 watts each respectively. So the sheer magnitude of those FM signals is often enough to overwhelm or interfere with the reception of much weaker local over-the-air TV stations. Lots of TV antennas are really good at picking up FM radio, whether you want them to or not. In fact, a lot of TV antennas are actually marketed as VHF, UHF, and FM antennas, and uh, this is why it's possible to use a TV antenna to pick up FM radio. Much in the same way, a lot of FM radio antennas can actually be used to receive TV stations. When your antenna is collecting all of that RF signal from TV stations and powerful FM stations, that can actually swamp the tuner in your TV or digital converter box, and that's where reception problems start. Those powerful FM signals can cause uh, picture freezing, picture loss, sound loss, pixelation, all kinds of problems on weaker local or distant TV stations. If you have eliminated 5G LTE cell phone signals or other sources of noise as potential interference in your TV antenna signals, then it is possible a local FM station might be overpowering one or more TV signals in your area. And you might want to try installing an FM trap or FM filter to see if it helps. All right, here's a look at an FM filter or FM trap as they're often called. This one's made by Channel Master. And this is literally what we call an inline filter because it's installed in line with your coaxial cable. This side here says right on it from antenna. So this coaxial cable would connect back to your TV antenna and then run into the filter. And then the filtering of the FM frequencies happens. And then the output side is here to TV or amplifier. This end gets connected to your television, digital converter box or amplifier. And if we look closely at the filtering frequencies written here on the label of the filter. The pass band is from 5 to 87 megahertz. That's the low VHF TV frequencies. And then on the other side is 125 to 2000 megahertz. That's definitely wide enough of a spectrum for the high VHF and UHF TV frequencies to pass. And in between, the block band is from 88 to 124 megahertz. So that covers the FM radio 
frequency spectrum to filter out any FM stations that might possibly be causing interference problems for you. Here's a closer look at what's going on with this channel master filter. The input side that comes in from the TV antenna has the right kind of connector, a barrel connector, to receive the coaxial cable from your antenna. And the output side actually has a threaded insert here. You're going to have to use one of these barrel connectors or couplers. Install it like that and then you can make the connection to your coaxial cable on the output side that goes to your TV amplifier or digital converter box. This is an older FM trap made by Radio Shack. And again, you can see it's very simple. It's got an inside and an outside. And the inside is the cable that comes in from your TV antenna. And then the outside would connect to your TV tuner, digital converter box, or if you're using an amplifier, it would go to your amplifier and then to your TV or digital converter box. Keep in mind that if you're using any kind of amplifier or preamp in your TV antenna system, that can actually make a noise problem worse. Amplifiers do not discriminate between TV signals, FM signals, or RF noise from other sources. They're going to amplify signals and noise alike. And this is where an FM trap might actually help the situation. And this also means that the ideal location for an FM trap or FM filter is to place it after your TV antenna, but before any amplifier or preamp in the system. If you think an FM filter can help to clear up interference on your TV antenna system, and you're thinking about buying one, there is an Amazon purchase link in the description of this video. And if you click that link and make a purchase as an Amazon associate, I'll earn a little bit of money from that purchase. And if you do use my link to make a purchase, I thank you in advance.